Two US bombers have flown close to North Korea today in a show of force to intimidate despot Kim Jong-un. The supersonic US B-1B strategic bombers zoomed over South Korea as part of an air show prompting Kim to warn that the Korean peninsula is on the eve of explosion. They flew low over Seoul Air Base for eight minutes as part of the Seoul International Aerospace and Defense Exhibit 2017. The first bomber was escorted by two South Korean F-15K fighter jets and flew as low as 450 meters above the ground before exiting to the west. The second flew even lower, just 150 meters above the base. The bombers took off from Guam's Anderson Air Base earlier in the day before entering the skies of South Korea. The flyover comes 11 days after two B-1B bombers carried out surprise nighttime exercises over the waters off South Korea's east and west coasts in a show of force against North Korea. As the situation heats up, Defense Updates looks at five weapons, absence of which makes North Korea handicapped in case of any conflict with the US. Let's get started. Number 5 An Airborne Early Warning and Control AEWNC, system is an airborne radar system designed to detect aircraft, ships, and vehicles at long ranges and perform command and control of the battle space in an air engagement by directing fighter and attack aircraft strikes. AEWNC units are also used to carry out surveillance including over ground targets and frequently perform C2BM command and control battle management functions. When used at altitude, the radar of the aircraft allows the operators to detect and track targets and distinguish between friendly and hostile aircraft much farther away than a similar ground-based radar. Like a ground-based radar, it can be detected by opposing forces, but because of its mobility, it's much less vulnerable to counterattack. AWACS are force multipliers as they evade much better situational awareness and hence will be missed heavily by the North in case of a conflict. Number 4 North Korea has a mix of old Soviet era surface to air missiles SAMs, which include the S 75, S 125, S 200, and the Kavadrat. All these systems are outdated and represent technology that's two to three generations old. Also, these may not be in good working condition, even when working, are likely to be only nuisance instead of being a solid challenge because of their old radar technology and limited onboard computational power. In addition to them, since the early 2010s, North Korea has deployed an indigenous SAM system, which is called the KN-06 by South Korea and the US. The KN-06 is a long-range SAM that bears some resemblance to the Russian S-300 and Chinese FT-2000. It's the most capable North Korean air defense system and has a maximum range of 150 kilometers. But even this system is equipped with a flap-lid type phased array radar, which will find it difficult to have a lock on the B-1B and has no chance against the B-2 Spirit. Number three. Air superiority is a major factor in any conflict. The North Korean Air Force has a fleet of more than 1,300 aircraft that are primarily legacy Soviet models and are predominantly responsible for defending North Korean airspace. The overwhelming majority of Pyongyang's arsenal is made up of 1950s and 1960s vintage machines, which even includes Chinese derivatives of very old fighters like the MiG-17 and MiG-19. The MiG-29 is the Korean People Army's Air Force's KPAF most modern fighter and it operates approximately 40 of these. Though the MiG-29 is a capable fighter, but North Korea has been isolated for long with very little access to spare parts and other maintenance infrastructure. Even for many developed countries, the actual availability of fighter fleet tends to be about 70% of total strength. The situation in North Korea is expected to be even worse, so they may be able to field only about 30 of these at a time. Also, we must have to note that fighter jets are platforms and their effectiveness depends largely on the weapons they carry. With little to no access to foreign air-to-air -air missiles because of sanction and no in-house designs, the MiG-29 is equipped with old weapons technology. Number 2 Aircraft carriers can be used to project power far from the nation's coastlines as they provide a base for the fighter aircrafts. The United States has 11 large nuclear-powered fleet carriers known as supercarriers, 
carrying up to about 80 fighter jets each. These largest carriers in the world, the total combined deck space is over twice that of all other nations combined. In addition, the US has 9 amphibious assault ships used primarily for helicopters. Although these also carry up to 20 vertical or short takeoff and landing fighter jets and are similar in size to medium sized fleet carriers. The aircraft carriers provide the strategic depth and operational flexibility. North Korea has none and its fighter will have to fly from fixed airfields which make them susceptible. Number 1 North Korea is dependent on land based missiles for nuke delivery as it has no aircraft capable of carrying nuclear bombs and has no ballistic missile submarines. North Korea is under constant surveillance by radars and satellites of the US, South Korea and Japan. Land based missile sites are vulnerable to preemptive attacks. US has a multitude of options that can target these sites at a moment's notice like stealth bombers or Tomahawk cruise missiles. Nuclear powered ballistic missile submarines are considered to be the most survival nuke delivery option. Their ability to stay underwater is restrained only by human endurance to stay underwater. This makes them virtually indetectable as they can loiter in the vast oceans indefinitely away from preying eyes of enemy aircraft or satellites. North Korea will surely miss this and this would have been its greatest deterrence. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.